I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions. I'm here in Calgary, Canada, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Eclair wallet for the Lightning Network on Bitcoin. Now, this is a wallet that functions as a regular send and receive Bitcoin wallet, but it also allows you to start a Lightning Network channel and send Lightning payments to merchants at reduced fees. We're gonna take a look at how to start a channel, how to fund your wallet, and all that good stuff. Let's take a look. Now, before we dive in here with utilizing this wallet, I just wanted to explain a couple things for those unfamiliar with Lightning Network and how it functions. Uh, essentially, what you're doing here is you're locking up a portion of your Bitcoin onto the Lightning Network, which is in a smart contract that can be settled after however many transactions you want to do while residing on the network. So, for instance, I can uh, connect to the network, lock up my Bitcoin, I can transact with an individual or a number of individuals that are all connected to me via the network. And then at the end, after spending and receiving and doing however many transactions I like, I can close my channel with a lightning network, have everything settled, and then have control of my Bitcoin and move it around as I please, as I normally would with a Bitcoin wallet. Now, when you open a lightning channel, what you're doing is you're connecting with somebody who is running a full node that is keeping track of the lightning network. Um, when you do this, you don't need to open a node with every single person you want to transact with. Um, it's a web, so if you connect to a single node and that single node is connected to, say, 30 other peers, you also have a connection with all of those peers. And you have a connection with all of the all of the people that those 30 peers are connected to as well. So with a single connection, you can often connect with most anyone in the network as long as that node you've decided to connect to is well connected itself. Um, in some cases, when it's a brand new node and it still has yet to forge a number of connections, then you may need to connect directly. The example today, I'm going to be connecting directly because again, it is a new merchant accepting light, um, lightning payments. Uh, but if I were to connect to other nodes, I may not need to make that direct connection. So I'm here with the Eclair wallet uh, for my Android phone here that I got off the Google Play Store. Now this is already set up. It is much the same as a regular Bitcoin wallet. You get a seed phrase, uh, which you write down and back up, and you set up a PIN number um, just for security's sake so nobody could pick up your phone and start spending your money without that PIN number. Um, if you are unsure how to do that, I have lots of various other wallet tutorials. I'll put a couple of those in the description down below here if you want to check those out and see how to set up a wallet from scratch. Uh, but I'm gonna move forward assuming that if you're looking at Lightning Network, you already know how to do that. So what we're going to do here is take a look at the user interface first off. Now, of course, there already are some transactions in here because I've been playing around. Uh, this is where you start off on your main screen here, your transaction history. You can go in and see the details of each transaction, um, what kind of fees you paid, so on and so forth. If I go back to the main screen, up top I can see a total balance. So I have a balance of Bitcoin and then I can see that split between on the main net, uh, where it has the little B there, how much Bitcoin is sitting on the main network, and then the little lightning bolt for how much I have sitting on the lightning network. Neither are funded yet, we'll get into that in a moment. Now you can swipe side to side to get to different screens here. So if I swipe and I go over to my left here, I get my Bitcoin address. Now this is my regular Bitcoin address to receive a main net transaction to this wallet. Now if I swipe back and I go further to the right, I can see my lightning channels. Again, there isn't a lightning channel. This was a previous one I had opened and then closed, uh, but we're gonna be opening up one of those as well. So let's fund this wallet. Um, I've, got, uh, I've got Exodus open on my desktop, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to send over some Bitcoin to this wallet uh, to fund it. So I'm just gonna simply open my camera here so that I can scan the QR code on my computer and I will send over 
Hmm. About 200 bucks. Send that over. Off it goes. And I can see right away it pops up here as a mainnet transaction. If I click into it, I can see at current time there are zero confirmations and I need to wait for those confirmations to come through before I can start utilizing the Lightning Network. So we'll come back when that's confirmed. All right, it's now been a few minutes here and we have a confirmation on the Bitcoin in my wallet. So we can go about starting a Lightning Channel. So how are we going to do this? Well, first we're gonna swipe over to the right here uh, where it says lightning channels and we're gonna hit the little plus button in the bottom right. Now here, it's going to ask me uh, what channel I would like to connect or how I would like to connect to the Lightning Network. So um, much like receiving a Bitcoin transaction, you can paste in an address or a node uh, URI that you would like to connect to. You can scan a QR code. Um, you can connect to a random node that is uh, recommended through this app, or you can connect to the async node, which is the company that that creates this wallet. So for this use case, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna connect to uh, the node of the place where I want to actually make a purchase uh, in a moment once this is set up. And this is um, a website called wheresmyliberty.com. Uh, and the reason I wanna connect to their node in particular is because they've got this awesome t-shirt uh, that is a hashtag reckless lightning network pioneer t-shirt. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab something from them. Now, let's just take a look at how it would work in both situations, okay? So, um, first, let's, oops, let's go ahead. I'm gonna hit that plus sign one more time. So if I have a node URI, uh, what this looks like is it's just a string of digits, numbers, and letters um, that you can paste in. Now, I don't have anything copied, uh, so it would just be if I was somewhere, I could copy it and then uh, it automatically checks my clipboard um, for something. Now, if I wanna scan, I can hit the scan button here and it opens up my camera, at which point I can scan a QR code. Now, I will do that in a moment, but let's take a look at the other options first. Um, again, from the plus sign, I can hit random node and the random node feature is not yet enabled, but will be enabled soon. If I hit async node, their own personal node, this is where it gives me the opportunity to say how much Bitcoin I would like to fund this channel with. Um, here you can see the node ID. Uh, this is something that you would use in the other instance to paste in. You would get it from an outside source. Um, and here I get to set my transaction fee, my regular Bitcoin transaction fee to send Bitcoin to fund this node or to fund this channel. So I'm gonna go about it the other way. I'm gonna scan a QR code instead. So I've already got one up uh, from Where's My Liberty on my desktop here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna scan that QR code with my phone. You can kind of see it, it's off here in the corner. So I'm just gonna once more hit the plus sign. I'm gonna hit scan a node URI, which opens up my camera, and I'm just gonna scan here. Okay, now it's asking how much I want to fund the channel with. Um, so I'm gonna fund it with just shy of what I've got in the wallet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead 0 0.021. Um, and as far as transaction fees, um, I believe there's a little bit more activity on the Bitcoin network today. So I'm gonna actually bump up my uh, transaction fee. I know it's a little high but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit 10 Satoshis per byte um, just to make sure that it gets through uh, with ample time so that I'm not sitting around. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit open. And so at this point, I now see a change up top. So I see my, my total Bitcoin amount. Um, I see a split, I see the top uh, list, the uh, amount of Bitcoin left on the regular main net, which is 0 0.001. And then I can see under the lightning, uh, I have 0 0.021. Now, 
Here, I'm going to tap and I'm going to take a look at the funding uh, for this channel. So it says it's waiting for funding to confirm. In this instance, uh, this wallet waits, I believe, for three confirmations uh, before you can spend uh, within your Lightning channel. At that point, I will be able to go ahead and spend freely back and forth uh, to not only just um, the store that I've connected to, but also any other merchant that they are connected through as well. So you're not just only connecting with an individual, you're connecting to every other person that that individual is connected to and every other person that the people beyond that individual is connected to. So it's kind of like a web and often having a single or a few connections uh, gets you enough of a route to connect to most anyone at the moment. Um, though that isn't always the case, it will start to become the case as the network gets more robust. So we'll just wait for this to confirm We'll go back here uh, and we will be back once this is funded and we're ready to do a lightning transaction. So everything is now confirmed and I am ready to start transacting via the Lightning Network. We have set up a channel successfully between my phone, which is actually a Lightning Network node now, um, and this merchant, which is wheresmyliberty.com. So I can now head over to the payment section on the website uh, and I'm going to proceed to payment which is going to bring up the BTC pay invoice uh, and I will be able to make my payment here. So um, on BTC pay, these types of invoices, uh, you can choose between using Bitcoin or the Lightning Network on top of Bitcoin just by clicking between the two. So Bitcoin is presented here. If I click Lightning, it switches to a Lightning address here. All I am going to do in this instance to send a lightning, uh, lightning payment is I'm going to hit the send button in the bottom right. Uh, I'm going to scan a payment request just like normal and I simply scan the QR code and it says uh, would you like to send this amount. Uh, I double check the transaction that it's going to the right place. Um, yep, yeah, everything seems alright to me so I'm just going to go ahead and hit pay and instant, it's confirmed, we're good to go, and I can now go to, it looks like my fee, let's take a look at this. Um, okay, I actually didn't even have to pay a fee there. Wow, zero fees. So zeros, literally zero Satoshis to send that. Um, it actually cost me nothing. Um, partly, probably because I was connected direct to the merchant, um, but zero fees. Um, Wow, and it, and it confirmed instantly. Now that I've successfully made a payment via the Lightning Network, let's say that I no longer wanted to be using this Lightning Channel. I wanted to move my coins to another wallet per se. Um, how do I go about getting my funds off of this wallet uh, so that I can move my Bitcoin elsewhere? Well, all we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Lightning Channels here and I'm going to tap on my open channel here where it says normal and I have the option in the top right where it says close channel. If I hit that I can so I can do it two ways so um, this, res this relies on the person running the channel to be responsive. Um, if that person is not responsive, then I can also force close the channel, which just takes, um, I'm not sure the time delay, it could be 24 hours uh, before the funds are refunded to my regular Bitcoin wallet. But I'm just gonna hit close channel. And I can see that because they are online, it already says that it is cooperative, which means that my my funds are taken from the Lightning Network, sent as a mainnet transaction back to my wallet. So I can now see that it's been adjusted. I have my Bitcoin balance up top still, uh, but now I have 
zero on the Lightning Network and all of it is on the main network. And at this point, I would be able to then send back to my Bitcoin wallet on my computer just by hitting the plus, uh, actually, sorry, by going back to the main screen, hitting the send button in the bottom right hand corner and hitting scan. I can now scan my QR code and I can either choose an amount by writing it in here or I can just hit empty wallet to send that out immediately. You can also adjust your fees and I'll hit pay and off it goes and I should have that back. Oh, and there it is back in my Exodus wallet right now. Now, I did want to make one note about this wallet in particular. At current time, you cannot receive Lightning payments with it. Of course, you can receive regular Bitcoin payments, you can create a Lightning channel, you can send funds via Lightning, and then you can settle and move your Bitcoin around as you see fit. But you cannot receive a Lightning payment via the Eclair wallet yet. Um, there's a lot of technical reasons behind that, part of which has to do with the idea that if you're running a lightning node and you want to be receiving payments or uh, allowing people to connect to your channel, um, you need to be checking that every day. And if you're not checking it and accepting incoming uh, transactions and incoming, um, I guess, connections with people, uh, then those can time out. So that's something that's being worked on. I'm sure we'll see a multitude of solutions in the future. Um, so for this instance, this wallet for myself, I believe it's most useful if you want to play around with the Lightning Network, one, uh, but two, if you want to be making a number of transactions yourself to buy items um, and you want to reduce your fees, it's a decent option. With that in mind, uh, just remember that the Lightning Network is quite new, so you don't want to put too much of your Bitcoin at risk. Um, only put in what you could afford to lose. You don't want to be loading up, you know, 10 Bitcoin into your Eclair wallet at the moment. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind, be careful, but please play around, try it out. Now, I did want to take just a couple seconds to show you guys what I did grab today. Um, disclaimer, I am not in any way shape or form associated with this website. Um, I just liked a couple of the shirts that were on here. Anyways, it's wheresmyliberty.com. So if anybody from there sees this, uh, good job. I like your stuff. Um, anyways, you can grab a lot of stuff. It's not all crypto related stuff, but there are a few crypto related things here. Um, and what I grabbed were, was the uh, goodbye fake Toshi shirt. And of course I got it in fuchsia because why wouldn't I? And the other one I got was the Reckless shirt, which says, it reads, uh, Reckless Lightning Network Pioneer. So it's basically, um, that's one of the first nodes that was operating on the Bitcoin Lightning Network. So 2018 Lightning Network Pioneer. Uh, one thing I did want to highlight before I sign off here is look at the description for this goodbye fake Toshi shirt. Uh, we are all Satoshi, but there's only one fake Toshi. We don't really care whether you like this shirt or not. We're going to keep designing new shirts and people are going to wear them. Frankly, we've got more shirts than your entire closet. Which one do you choose? Text has a slightly distressed look because after listening to fake Toshi speak, who wouldn't? They also go great with a pair of mom jeans. That's gold. So anyways, I encourage you guys to check them out. Uh, have heavy support on my end for this website. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, drop a tip if you're able to, and share this video. Also, if you'd like to further support the show, check out links down below to grab yourself a hardware wallet to secure your crypto. See you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.